Mihide. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Of course, uh, we support this motion and our thoughts and our prayers are with the people of Christchurch as they get over this uh, trauma and look to rebuild uh, the city. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Speaker, this is an unprecedented experience in New Zealand's history, uh, not just the earthquake, but to have these emergency powers extended for a fourth time. Uh, Mr. Chevelle was correct in saying that the, the powers are wide ranging. Uh, Mr Speaker, and we're already seeing some considerable discontent uh, grow in Christchurch over the exercise of those powers and indeed um, a failure uh, by us uh, and by the civil emergency uh, personnel to be explaining um, the use of the powers to the satisfaction of the peoples most directly affected by them. And what I'd suggest, uh, Mr Speaker, is that at this stage that the government do respond uh, and take a call and provide for us, this parliament, who are granting um, this power, some timetable for um, the continuation because what's happened is each week, Mr Speaker, uh, the government has come here and said seven days, seven days, seven days, four times. Is it going to be six times, eight times, ten times, twelve times? Uh, what is the expectation about the extension of the emergency powers? Also, Mr Speaker, it would be helpful uh, if the government, in taking the reply, would explain to this House and to the people of Christchurch actually how the powers will be exercised and uh, explained to the people of Christchurch, because it looked very uncomfortable to see business owners directly affected and not being able to get answers to what appeared on the face of it. Very simple and straightforward questions, Mr Speaker.